I won't let you do that! I learned everything from people of the past! It's because I had my friends that I was able to keep moving forward! They're what created the me that's here now! I'm never gonna let you cut that away! <laughs> then... You must know what you need to do.
<laughs> now, now I'm all alone. What's wrong? Don't tell me you've given up already. Is it really that easy for you two to sever your connection? It isn't, is it? Just like Obito and me, your connection with Sasuke can't be severed that easily. Remember, you didn't just reconnect Kakashi and me. My heart was so hardened, yet you. And it wasn't just me. You opened up a lot of other people's hearts as well. Enemies. People surrounded by hatred. People who rejected the other villages. People who were hurting inside. Even the tailed beasts. You were even capable of solving the problems of the world itself. Now, there's only one person left. It should be easy for you to save a stubborn friend. Right? Yeah, you'll be fine. Remember that you bear the encouragement of all those people on your shoulders. The connections you've made with your teachers and your peers. The hopes of your friends. If you don't have enough power, then just borrow it from their hands. Because, Naruto, that's all the power that you created. Your heart isn't dead yet. If he's submerging himself in darkness, then just use your hands to pull him back up. And if he tries to shake you off, then scream to wake him up. There's no such thing as a feeling that cannot be conveyed. Everyone believes in you, Naruto. You make the impossible possible. Naruto, that's why. You need to get back up already! Don't be afraid to look stupid as you struggle. That is the Naruto we all know! You can do it, Naruto! Connections don't disappear. You need to harden your fist and stand up again! Keep that fire in your eyes! Let out a roar! Come on! Sasuke's waiting for you! Go to him, Naruto! This is all for your sake! For the sake of the future! For the sake of your friend! Forward! Just yet! Sasuke! Why? Over and over. Over and over and over. Why do you keep doing this? What's wrong with you? Just what are you?
your friend. I told you I can't leave you alone, remember? <laughs> You're still saying that? After all this? I told you already. I have no intention of going back! And I told you that I have no intention of giving up! It doesn't matter what you say to me. I'll never change my mind. I'm just gonna keep reaching out my hand to you. Until the very end. Until I reach you! My will won't change, either. I'm going to cut you down. In order to end the path I've walked so far. I won't give up on you! In order to keep my path connected! Neither of us has much power left. Yes. This is... the true end.
Now do you finally get it? <coughs> See? If you move, the wound will open. Why are you so obsessed with standing in my way? I acquired this strength so I could cut everything off and enter the darkness. Naturally, Everyone tried to break their bonds with me at least once. But you... You never did. Why are you so determined to stay involved with me? Huh. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't you get it by now? Just answer me! Because we're friends. Just what is a friend... to you? You can't explain something like that with words. But whenever I see you trying to carry everything on your shoulders like that... It... hurts. It hurts so bad that I just can't ignore you. Naruto. I know that you've always been alone. Just like me. You felt alienated in the village. But unlike me, you did stupid things to try and get people's attention. Back then, I thought you were an idiot. A weakling. But, deep down inside, I was interested in you too. Then we both grew and ended up on the same team. I did missions together with you, while you kept going on and on about how you wanted to become the Hokage. And as I felt us growing stronger together, I decided that I wanted to fight you someday. Then, I started to see Team Seven as my own family. That's why, whenever I saw you in pain, yes, I also hurt. When I understood your pain, that's when I first thought of you as a friend. But in return, as I saw you grow exponentially strong, I just couldn't ignore you. You had a strength that I lacked. You were always walking in front of me, just like my brother did. And the same is true today. You. Ah! Guess it's too soon for you to move. Just when I thought I could punch you to wake you up. <laughs> Still want to keep fighting? Of course, I'll fight you as many times as... I accept it. Huh? I lost. You... You idiot! This isn't about winning or losing! My friend was sulking, so I just thought I'd punch him to wake him up, that's all! Hey, Naruto. I accept you. 
If I die here, the chain of war that's been continuing since the time of the Sage of the Six Paths will come to an end. This is another type of revolution. I'll decide this issue myself, once and for all. How can you decide anything by dying? You might as well live on and help me instead, if you're just gonna do that! What I want to do is cooperate with all the shinobi! Including you, of course. Who says everyone else will agree to that? Oh, come on! Go on! Spout some more crap like that! I'll punch you again! There's no telling when I may stand up to defy you again in the future. You won't do this kind of thing anymore! How... can you be sure of that? Don't make me repeat myself! Just what are you? We're friends! Why are you so obsessed with me? Because we're friends! Why are you so determined to stay involved with me? Huh. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't you get it by now? Just answer me! Come on! You're the one who still doesn't get it! Now that I think about it, I guess you always have been surprisingly dense. Shut up, you loser. I knew they'd be here. Kakashi-sensei. Yeah, go to them. I'm not gonna lose to you! Say whatever you want, you brain-dead loser. Enough, Naruto! Shut up already! So, he's finally returned. We used to be all alone, starving for love. Children who were festering with hatred. We went our separate ways and fought. But not at all. You never cut me off. You just kept moving closer to my heart. Even though it would have made sense for you to attack me with hatred. You told me I was your friend. And no matter how much I hurt you, you accepted me as one. I was only saved thanks to you. We used to do nothing but quarrel, and now we can feel the pain of each other's hearts. And this isn't just between us. It may be something that can be said in a much larger scope. To be honest, you should have been thrown in jail for what you did. The reason you were pardoned is because you made a great contribution to stopping the infinite Tsukuyomi. But don't forget that me becoming the sixth Hokage and Naruto's appeals were a big part of that as well. 
don't do anything too crazy anymore, or else I'll have to take responsibility for it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Do you really have to go? Now, I want to know how the Shinobi world, how this world looks to me. Um... What if... I asked you if I could come along? This is also a journey of repentance. You have nothing to do with my sins. Nothing to do with them, huh? See you later. Thanks. You... still have that? I'm giving it back. How about I keep it... until our next battle? But I could never do things like you could. It was never that easy for me. That emotion felt like a prayer. I'll just have to bear this until I can really do it. And the ones who have been tasked with that... ...are us. Naruto. Ninja. There is a chain that began from creation and continued through the Atsutsuki, never ceasing. People became shinobi and created clans and villages. Even during peaceful interludes, the flames of war never died out, but grew ever stronger, along with hatred. And so, those two continued to face each other, fighting on and on. However, a single ninja was able to sever that chain and cultivate a new future. He created best friends, followed them, challenged them, and connected them. His will gradually came to encompass all shinobi the world, and all its hatred, until it came to reveal a new path. Here, the handbook that encompasses everything about the way of the shinobi reaches its conclusion. Now, it's time to give that handbook a title. And so it will be named... The Tale of Naruto Uzumaki.
where leaves fall, flames burn. The shadows of the flames illuminate the village. And again, new leaves bloom. 